Welcome back, everybody. It's Wednesday, wild and crazy Wednesday. That's right. We're going to be taking on the Handmaiden tonight. And this is by far the toughest group adventure that's group wise that you do in here in TBM, in my opinion. And that's uh, excluding the, the real tough ones like Enslaver. That's probably harder, but the ones that people can actually do legitimately, um, I think this is the toughest one. We're going to try it tonight. Um, in fact, if you don't have the right characters for this, this is one of those where you just can't, there's no way you're ever going to pass this. Uh, this mission is, there's two bosses inside. You've got to kill the terrible monster who has more hit points than you can ever imagine. It feels like a raid boss. And then you got to kill the high Bakken fanatic. If you're just group geared like we are, it's a huge challenge. you got to bring all your DPS, but then on the other hand, to kill the terrible monster thingy, you need to have extra healing. So tonight we have Dr. Martin on the left. He's going to be helping out with the heals. I'll be playing him. I'll also be playing Syrup, the Enchanter, because we're going to need him to break the room up. We're going to have Wizaholic in the back there for DPS. We have Oshi, uh, Oshi playing the Mage, and we have Shainer played by Shadow Knight. We'll be switching out Shainer after we kill the terrible monster, and then we're going to be going uh, with his Mage. So that we'll have two Mages, a Wizard, and Dragorius is in the front. He'll be tanking. So hopefully this will be enough DPS to take down this uh, this dude here. Let's go ahead and check out levels 97. And this is one where you got to be very careful. Everybody has to be 97. You can't be above it. If you level into 98, you might as well forget about it because every level you go up, the monsters get harder and harder. And just to give you guys an idea, I tried this mission with my level 110 enchanter to level 18 mages. And, um, I, of course, there's Dr. Martin and one healer merc, and I got wiped four times. And they have definitely upped the terrible monster. They haven't upped his level, but they've upped the capability. So a lot of the monsters will hit harder, like they hit for 86,000 at level 110. But they're really not that level. He was blue to me, in fact, dark blue at level 109 only. But anyway, just to let you know, we may run into that. But that's what makes it exciting, guys. Because you never know what you're going to get when you tune in with us. There's always variety, novelty, wipes, and victories. So switching the camera around. So here we go. Let's get good old Dr. Martin. I'll put him on happy follow. So what we're going to do first is we got to head out to the... Let me see here. We got to head out to the crypt and uh let me see here this is a little bit tough so yeah let's head on over to the crypt guys uh i'll pop invis on dead and let me see if i've got everything here one moment it's going to change something all right let's see here i gotta add one more thing in here Okay, and uh, yeah, we're going to find out and learn as we go. There may be a way to cure the big, bad, ugly thing that is put on us by this terrible monster. Okay, guys, let's go on out here. And yeah, welcome aboard, everybody. Hope you're having fun out there shopping. It is busy, busy, busy out there. Christmas is just around the corner. So where we're we headed is in here. This is going to be a little extra dangerous. Oh, one moment here. Oh, let me see if this guy can see us. He cannot. If we have Invis on dead, we should be okay. It's going to work a little different. We got to be careful and sneak in there. A lot of sneaking around. Follow me. And we're going to go like this. Stay right in the middle. Don't get too close to the buildings. First victim is going to be Honored Citizen, and this is where the, all the action takes place. And uh, I'm going to go like this, and we're going to go kind of in here, in the building right here, and uh, going to get ready to bonk this guy on the head here. So uh, let's see, are you guys ready? Dragorius, you see the guy here? Yep. Okay, wait for Dragorius. Dragorius, you out there? Yeah, I was just running up the stairs, okay, falling come off. Come on up here. See this honored citizen I'm, I'm facing? Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Okay, his level is 99. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me see. I've got everything here. And um, get ready to fix his wagon. Okay, go ahead and engage him. Okay, and uh, we will put a campfire down for sure. Um, probably a good place to put it is, let me put one right here. I'm gonna put it here because uh, the dude we're gonna fight is in the room. He may not be up yet, but. Okay, so. Stay out here. We got two guys in there. Okay, so the way this is going to work is there's a whole bunch of guys in there. Here comes this guy here. Let me see if I can get him to come. Okay, this is our next victim. What the heck? The shaman didn't get buffed. Oh well. We're going to buff him right after this kill. He has no clarity on him. Uh, that won't be good. Alright. All right. Just chew on your leg. Sheesh. Oh boy. Won't be good enough. Let me go ahead and uh, clarity and all that. He's going to have the weak buff too. He only has 25 minutes on assurance. That would be good enough. Okay, there's a clarity for him. Let me load my version of Spell Guard here. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but uh, everybody got to stay out here. Don't want to get too close. And I'm going to keep this up right before the battle. Uh -huh. If you guys like excitement, you've tuned into the place because this is the first tough encounter after we clear these guys off. Now, uh, let's see, is he okay? Let me get him some mana. I'm gonna put, um, I have uh, Lethargy, which is automatic slow. Put that on you, put that on you. And I'm going to pop Panther uh, like this. We're going to Mez pull these guys. Here we go. Mez pull. We got incoming. There he is. There's our victim here. Last guy. Okay, good work. Let's see, you have a twin cast aura, mastermind aura. Let me make sure I've got everything going that I'm going to need. Beam of slumber. There's some other AAs I can use, like I think Chromatic Haze. Let me get that loaded. Is there a cheesecake aura? I wish there was. I have to make sure my... Actually, what I'm going to do is go to get Gather Mana. I'm going to put my Staunch Recovery... I won't need it yet. we got to beat this guy without Staunch Recovery. So don't use the Staunch Recovery on this guy, no matter what you do. Let me get this next one here. There you 
go. And prepare a group heal over time uh, just to get that thing going this is a long-term heal over time it's not gonna make that big a difference but it should help a little and that should give you a little bit of something I'm gonna look for my other heals because we're almost ready to fight big bad boy uh, what do we got here phantom Okay, so this is a I have a heal group heal over time also. Both uh, take forever. I have progenitor's intervention that's a group heal that's really good and then on Dr. Martin and then I have another group heal that um is a heal over time they're not that good in a single target heal for uh, dr martin when we fight the big guy which is coming up soon his ae will take us down uh you know at least maybe like eighty thousand hit points or that's what he's doing higher or at least half our life i think we need to use group <laughs> heals to get out of it and it will also stun us so be careful uh, dr martin will be assisting with the same thing but let's continue to pull these guys here. Okay, single pull coming. Okay, let's get this guy here. Okay, nice. Okay, popping spell guard one more time on us. I also have a rune that I can pop on uh, Dragorius. I hope I've got everything set here. I'm going to use a phantasmal opponent and everything I've got. Okay. So let's do this. Hold on a second. Okay, so come on in and come to the right, like right where I am here. Come over here. Now, what's <laughs> Now, what's going to happen is you see the coffin at the far end of the the way. If we can get Dragorius to run up there and run back, but not yet. It's going to spawn uh, a big monster called a terrible monster. We want to take a look and see what his level is first. And um, um, five hundred. Uh -huh. Okay, going to pop the towels in just in case. So Dragorius, run over there and run back, and just see if you can trigger him that way. A little closer to the coffin. Huh. Come back. Hurry. Get back. Oh my gosh. There he is. There it is. Okay. So what level is he? 101. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, Yeah. So we don't... The nice thing is we don't have any ads. That's the good news. Um, Let me get her in position. This is not the expedient recovery one or whatever. No, no, that one, that guy. The guy is or staunch recovery. Hard, yeah, the staunch recovery guy. If we can pass this guy, we got the staunch recovery guy. So I've got Dragorius targeted, and my goal is going to be to um, 
I have a group heal. I also have, you won't probably won't need to use a radiant cure or I'm not sure. I, he dropped some kind of buff debuff on you, but I, I didn't get a look at it and what it did. It, you know, in fact, when I looked him up on it, uh, Alakazam, it says nothing about any kind of spells or debuffs that he casts. So that means it's been added and it's new stuff. So that's going to be a surprise. Um, he has probably about 10 times or 15 times the amount of hit points that those little guys there that we fought. This fight will probably go on about, I don't know, 10 minutes, I would guess. Um, I wonder if I should get it, uh, the shaman slow up. Uh, let's see what else did I have. I don't really have him set up that well. Um, let me see. You got Malos on him. Uh, how about this? We'll let um, Shaner, uh, what do you think? We can let the mage drop the Malos on him. Can the mages do that? I mean, can uh, Oshi do that? As soon as I can target him. Okay. okay. Target my target. Okay, let me get a slow And you can, you you can pre, pre target. I want to get Turgers on him because Turgers is the best slow. It's better, much better than the Enchanter slow. Okay, so what will happen is he's going to come over and fight somewhere in the middle here. And one way around this is to, um, well, it's hard. To, even if you're around the corner, uh, Dr. Martin got hit by the stuff. But you probably want to keep um, healers and the mages can stay kind of out of his melee box. And once we get him like Dragoris, you want to fight him maybe in the middle here. I don't know if his AE is directional or not. That's what I don't know, but if we get him slowed, we might have a chance. And I'll be looking to um, to group heal when if we get low or something, or you get in trouble, call it out. Uh, let me see if I got, got him. Especially if we get that dot cast on us. It's this one's not. I don't know if it's a dot or not. That's a thing. Um, it just may be his AE because I, I noticed everybody's health in my group just went down really fast. But he may be easier at this level that's the good news and just because you know he may not be over 105 when he goes over 105 he just turns into a ridiculous crazy guy but we're gonna find out be careful and watch your aggro uh wizaholic and stuff don't go too crazy on the aggro and let me load another um heal up for um i want to load one more heal Okay. Do you want to move the? Give me a five-second warning before you send them. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to put the campfire closer here now? No, it's right around the corner there. You, you see that where we just came in? That's where the campfire is. So the campfire is going to be out there. I've got um, Dragorius targeted. I'll assist with the heals. Communication's the key to this. It's going to get hairy. Okay, so I'm going to Tosh. And then uh, you pick him up, Dragorius. Uh, okay, so go ahead and cast a, a promise or heal over time on Dragorius. Let us know when you're, let us know when you're casting Tosh. There's a promise on him. Promise is on and so is hot. Okay, here we go. Let's get him. Go get him. Okay, trying to cast Turgers on him. Slow, here comes a slow. He's nuking him. Turgers landed, that's good news. Look at that. Okay, there comes the hit there. Whoa. Backing you up on the heel with Dragorius. Okay, gotta get Panther up. Okay, doing great guys, doing great. So far so good. We survived that first blast. I just saw a couple buffs disappear. Yep, yep, that's coming. He just, okay, here it goes. Uh, good group heal landed, good. I gotta get some more dots on him. Here, dropping more dots on him. Oh, this is much easier than that level 110. 
<laughs> yeah, I haven't died here. yet. Yeah, it's doing great so far. Oh shoot, here comes a group heal, guys. Hang on, I got the uh, big group heal coming now. Gotcha. And group heal over time coming. Gotcha, guys, picked you up. Good work, guys. Oh, yeah, wow. They, good thing he's not all crazy. Good job, yes. You dropped a skull, whatever yep. that is. That goes to Dr. Martin, because Dr. Martin's going to be... Oh, Dr. Martin already has it. Yeah, that's right. So, um, then that means we will put him on, uh, put it on syrup. Maybe syrup would be the feigned deather. Okay, so now we did that. Good job. That was a huge, huge victory, guys. Huge. So now we have a, a choice of, um, let's see, take the skull to the Statue of Eternity. Statue of Eternity's down. So, okay, so what we can do is we can get um, Wizaholic to evac us back to the front. Incoming. Okay, and then we can switch out Shainer for Mystery once we get there. Okay, you want me to uh, have Dr. Martin click off his 11 minutes left in insurance and maybe rebuff him before I switch? Um, 11 minutes of insurance, I guess. Yeah, he, he's got the uh, Merc here. We're going to... Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. you got to stay here. You know why we don't have any any healers. Okay, actually, actually... Yeah, I was wondering okay. about oh, that. So, wait, maybe we can't bring Shainer in here. Okay, all right. Okay, we can't bring Shainer in here. Okay, so, well, that's okay. We need to come back here anyway. Oh, I keep... My math is bad. All right, in that case, uh, there is some heals for the Shaman. i got to bring it up, uh, the AAs, because we're going to need that. And i got to get the staunch recovery set up and all that. So, guys... Make sure you load up your staunch recovery on your hotbar. Uh, that is a big one here. We're using infusion of faithful help. I don't know if that'll help. Um, just the main one, you're going to need a staunch recovery. What's going to happen within 30 seconds? None of you are going to have any mana left. Uh, that's what's been uh, my recollection of it. And that means we won't gonna get any. We're not gonna get any heals. You won't have any endurance either. So, so oh, I wish I had one. Wish I had one of those potion packs on Shainer. <laughs> but you have but staunch you have recovery, staunch. right? Yep. Okay, which, good. Which potion pack? I probably have one on me. Well, there's yeah. one of them that comes with potions of like healing and mana restore and so forth. Yeah, you mana and stamina. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, let's see. Let me check one thing real quick. Okay, so I want to get that. I have some heals that I got to set up on the shaman on his bar. Yep, that's Lizzie just linked the one I'm thinking of. Oh, gosh, what are the he big heals on the um, shaman here? There's, I know there's some kind of super big group here, spiritual something. Yeah, I got some on mystery, but unfortunately, I can't trade them over. Well, I was just trying to trade you one, and it disappeared off my cursor. Yeah, they should be. Once you take them out of the pack, they're no drop. You can transfer well, the box if you haven't opened it. In front of me. Oops. Okay, so I got, anyway, I got uh, Union of Spirits loaded. That will heal. Also, we're gonna need that. I'm gonna. I'm getting my AA heals up because if we do go out of mana, we're gonna need it. But judging by the way we killed this guy, he that was really good, guys. Um, when it for my one ten team, it takes a lot longer to to kill him than this. It takes like fifteen Thank minutes. You. So I think that's actually really really good. Let me check my bar here. And one moment, guys. I gotta change this bar here. Oh, 
Okay, what do I have? Cannibalize. Give me a moment. Just trying to find out which heals I've got. can't remember I, I looked earlier it was on a different hot bar we just have to go to with union of spirits that's a single target heal when did it let's see here okay we'll just go with that okay so, so far I got about 2% experience and uh, let's get this party started. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to head to the lower level. It's a downstairs area. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? There we go, got that. Okay guys, let's head uh, downstairs like this. No invis needed? Um, yeah, I'll pop in Viz. Uh, oh, wait, wait a second. You said this fight's going to last a while? Yeah. No, 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 no this no, is different. No, this this is one's, different. um, we want to kill him in, in, like, no more than two minutes. Oh, okay. Because don't forget Dr. Martin's buff is wearing away. Oh, yeah, he can, um, I'm going to pop it off. Just cast whatever you got on him. He's ready. And now Inviso Undead us. We may have to fight some of the stuff on the way down there. Just because you know how there's these C Inviso mobs in there. But we'll try to get back past as much as we can. Alright, that uh, looks good. Okay, let's go, guys. Okay, we're going to go this way here. And if you have trouble, I'm going to get Dr. Martin off his, um, his magic carpet. Well, I lost you. <laughs> really? Uh-oh, where are you? Head over to the stairs going down. The little wooden one. Yeah, remember last night? Yeah. There you go, you see us. <laughs> Mr. Kavit, welcome aboard out on YouTube. Yes, up in the game. But you know what, Mr. Kavit, we passed the one, I think, one of the harder parts, which is a terrible monster if you go back and rewind. That guy's really, really hard. But we got past him, which is, I was surprised because he let, wiped my level 110 group four times. You know, believe it or not, it's just that crazy. I had two mages, level 108 and 110 enchanter, and still got killed by him. But this guy's got a different um, trick up his sleeves. He's got a mana and endurance drain that's like no other. 30 seconds later, you won't have any. Uh, everybody got Invisible Undead on? Replacing. Got it. Yeah, bro. Okay, so let me go ahead and point out what happens here. Um, first things first, we got to clear all these mobs out. Then the second thing that happens is, wait a second. Um, where is this? Take the skull to the Statue of Eternity. Hold on. Uh, where is the baton? Where do you get the baton at? Let me check the uh, write up again. Oh, the baton, Dr. Martin. It didn't say anything about a baton, but I know I have it. When did we get, we didn't get a baton anywhere, did we? Nope, just a skull. Are we a spot I can drop in Viz for a moment? Oh, wait a second. Where the heck is this stuff? Um, yeah, I think you're okay. Oh my gosh, where'd the stuff go? What the heck? Syrup looted it. No, but where's the baton? 
Oh man, this mission's just a nightmare. Uh, I oh there it is, got them both. Baton, there's a baton and a um, head thing. I got the baton the other time, um, so it didn't sh it didn't show it in the loop. Uh, it's, this mission always makes me freak out because I'm like, we're supposed to get something. Okay, so Dr. Martin has the baton and the thing. Let me make sure he has a thin death potion. I'm so paranoid when I do this. I just got to make sure I have everything all perfectly set up. Yeah, I need more feign dead potions. I only have two left, and I use them on bad pulls. <laughs> okay, don't worry. You won't be using it tonight. No, I use it when I'm soloing. Invisible undead? Okay, so here we go, guys. We're going to creep down there. Now, there's a little trick to doing this. Uh, it's not as bad as Deadline, for example. It's not so scripted. Let me make sure we can get through this without getting jumped. Uh, let's see these guys. I check everybody. He's okay. And he's okay. Anybody else? Nope. We're going to go in here and swing a left. We're going to go here. And this part is pretty casual once we get the thing going. Are you guys live stream? Uh, yeah, there's no live stream up. No, I'm just wondering whether there you are. Yeah, we should be up there. I just let me check. Let me if check I went down or something. I just saw a skeleton go by on a boat. Skeleton on a boat. Yeah, or something. Or, is that a door to some place? Yeah, that's the, the the area down there. Okay, so once again, let me get Doctor Martin down here. He got stuck. Okay, let's just hope that when he does his feign death, it works out. So these are just generally your whatever mobs, and we can uh, clear these off It's uh, in any way we want. And then once we clear them off, there's a, a rock I call Freedom Rock. And then we're going to go set up on the Freedom Rock. And you'll see why, guys, because all these stuff, things will spawn out here. So let's see. Is this... Yeah, when you're up in that thing, a mob can be standing right in front of you. You could swear he's got to see you, and he doesn't. Yeah. So this uh, honored resident close by, he's going to be the first victim. And we want to clear off these ones on top there, too. Uh, I think we can pull this guy. Pulling this nearby guy. And a uh, fixer wagon. Whoa, drag boy, is he getting hit? I better uh, put the talisman up. And Dragoris, when we do fight the High Bach and Fnatic, make sure you have defense of it because there will be a period where our casters will be trying to do a staunch recovery and they will not have any mana. And Mr. Kavit, you're absolutely right. This is for I upgraded Daiko. We're going for that. So um, there will be a period where the, both healers are going to lose all the mana at the exact same time. So you're not going to get a heal for like I don't know, 10 seconds or so, possibly. Because it's going to take yeah, a while. it's not a quick cast. Yes, it's a, not a quick cast. So therefore, you got to go into it with defensive up. Um, because if you go down, uh, we're going to be in trouble. We may still make it because it's basically a DPS race. Okay, let me get the next uh, victim over here. So this part we can take our time and casually work it. 
Okay. You can at now you can go with your two hander. You don't have to worry too much. Let me get this guy real quick here. There we go. It's good, Mr. Kavit. Yeah, you, you gotta. The monk is really good for this because the feign death always works. So, like I said, if Dr. Martin fails on the feign death or he gets killed, the mission totally fails. So, he can actually um, fail the mission just because of failed feign death. And it's 95%, but believe me, the other night I did it, he failed on the feign death. And I don't know why. And I don't know if it just said he had fallen down. And so I don't know, um, you know, if they change it so you can't feign death, and then um, you'll see what I'm doing. If it fi if we find out that way, then this thing is almost next to impossible because if you move as much as a millimeter when you start the ritual, the um, whole thing will fail. Mezzing the one on the right, left one will come in. And when we fight the, the main guy, uh, Moshi, make, make sure you get malaise on there, or whatever your best Mala malaise, so that the wizard hits uh, harder. Not a problem. Okay, great. Uh, uh, need to heal on the pet. Let me heal him up. I've always called that spell Manny's. Nice thing is the AA automatically casts the highest level you have. Okay, wonderful. Okay, pulling this guy here. Let me go ahead and slow him. That's right, uh, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Kavit. It is definitely one of the hard ones. But I gotta say, Enslaver is even harder. I, I, just, I just don't think that's even possible to complete that one. Now we wanna go over here and we wanna see if there's any more guys popping out of the middle. It's kinda hard to see, but if there's no more guys popping out of the middle, you'll be okay. I'm gonna put uh, Dr. Martin back. Actually, he doesn't need a uh, carpet. Uh, he actually isn't going to even do much of anything. He's going to do his feign death thingy. But first, let's just have him sit. So what I want to show you guys is the area you want to hang out on is this rock here. I call this Freedom Rock. And you want to be up here because uh, it's a little hard to target, but you want to be here because this is where the mobs come out that won't pass. So something like that. What would you say? You're cracking up a little bit? Yes. Uh, can't hear you too well. Can you guys hear me okay? You sound like you're in a Okay, how about that? Sound better? It's still pretty bad. Okay, um, everybody else out there and uh, YouTube, can you hear me okay? And can uh, Shaner and the rest of the team hear me? You're kind of breaking up. I'm going to close out and come back in. Yeah, I tried to do that too. Yeah, breaking up, breaking up. 
Okay, Dragoris, can you exit Discord and come right back? Because um, I just did that. Oshi, can you hear me okay? And same with Wizaholic. Gosh, I guess they can't hear me. Yeah, but you're still breaking up to me. Okay, you sound okay. Mr. Kavit said I sound okay out on YouTube. So I can hear you perfectly. You sound good now, uh, Shaner. How about Wizaholic and Oshi, you guys there? Ooh, Dragoris lost Discord. Uh oh. Let me check it real quick. Oh boy, it's trying to connect. Uh oh. No root. Uh oh. Okay, there you go. It just connected. Can you guys hear me now? Uh, yep. Uh, better. Okay, good. Yeah, Discord said no route. And it was just like, wow, that was scary. Okay, so uh, before we get started, let me load the spell guard. I don't know if this is going to help at all, but we've got to give it a shot. So this guy cast some kind of debuff. I'm going to get uh, rid of Dr. Martin's pet. Can you hear me? Yeah, you sound a lot better now. Discord is still red on that microphone setting. Yeah, it sounds. Mine said no route, and then it came back. Okay, spell guards up. Uh, I need to get maximum DPS on this guy. I'm going to load a um, another dot. What do I have? Mind spiral. I'll make sure to hit frenzied on my pet too. That way, he'll cast the virulent talent about every six. Yeah, put it, it, you're going all for DPS. Mind uh confusing constriction. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit him with um, two dots and a nuke, and when he comes up. But first, we gotta kill ten of these roamer guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Doctor Martin up there. And uh, we're going to get him to feign death. If it works, um, we're in good shape and then we can get the event going. If it doesn't, um, we're going to fail this. So let me prepare this. Time to reroll characters? No. Let's see. I'm going to run him over. Stand by, guys. Okay, I'm just looking down there, I don't see anything. Now, you, what I'm supposed to do is move them around and it'll give me a message, but I'm not seeing the message. There it is. You cannot perform ritual without the baton. Okay, so now here it goes, guys. Get ready. I'm going to put these, equip these two items. If all works well, what you're going to see happen with Dr. Martin over there is you're going to see him um, feign death, and the mobs are going to ignore him. They're going to come all the way around here. Uh, and if, the, if, if it doesn't work for some reason, I don't know what the recast is on the planar overdose, but it's super long, in my opinion. And uh, what we're going to do... Go ahead. It's not going to do you any good. Oh, uh, what's that? Yeah, I don't remember how long either, but it's long enough it's not going to do you any good a second time. Yeah, you get one shot and one shot only. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to put the items on him, and uh, I'm going to feign death him. Here we go, and there it goes. Oh, good. It worked. Okay. So now, Dr. So now, Dr. Sweet. Yep. Now, wait here. That worked. So now we should get some fanatics. Here they go. Like this. Let's see if we can separate them. They're too far away. 
going to switch to first person mode so I can see him. Okay, now this is, we got this fanatic up top. Let me try to, oh, he went in there. Got to be fast. Pulling him right now. Ooh. Here he comes, here he comes. Okay, fix his wagon right here. Okay, going to slow him. And Dragoris, you can jump down on him. Yeah, right there. Can you guys cast on him here? If not, move to the edge of the rock. Yeah, I couldn't taunt him from up on top. Yeah, you just stay down right in front there. For those about to die, we salute you. Yeah, so, so far so good. Around after we kill seven of these, the Bakken High Fanatic, he's the one you got to worry about, will pop. And that's, uh, we want to kind of wait for a good moment to get him. Okay, the other guy, I'm going to get him. Let me target the other guy. I'm going to try to pull the other dude. Okay, here we go. Pull him. Oh, oh. Here he comes. I will always cast. All right, let's get this guy here. I'll cast Call of Challengers to prevent him from walking away. If you guys need a rest, we're going to get them, you know, like two or three at a time. But you can take your time killing them. As long as we get them, when we get around to six or so, there's another one. When she gets into view, I'll go ahead and try to get her before she claw. Here we go. Here's the next guy. Oh, okay. Next guy here. I'm going to mez him. Mezzed him. Okay, get the other one there. Dragoris, good job. Okay, target Dragoris. Let me set him up as a uh, main assist. Okay, yep, slowing him. Okay, fix his wagon. Good. Wagon repair in progress. Good. Next guy, I'm gonna uh, lock him. I'm gonna slow off on him. Say when. Okay, go ahead. And this will be number three. This will be number four. Got to get ready to have staunch recovery loaded on this guy here. You all, we may not need it, but uh, never know. Okay, we should. There's the lady up there. Let me get her real quick. Okay, this is the way to get him. You get him. As, oh, we got another. Okay, let me go ahead. Fanatics. Gonna stay alive, guys. Mezzing fanatics. Okay, get the uh, lady. I'm gonna mez the uh, skeletons. Whoa, need a heal. Okay, come on, mez. Damn you. Heal. Shit. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh -oh, we're in landing at the time you died. Uh, hit me with 14th next time. Get me back. Oh, shit. Evac it. No, no, don't, 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 don't evac. Forget it. Cancel that. We're going to lose Dr. Martin if we do, and then we fail the whole thing. Just, oh, my. Too late. I think we evac. Uh, uh, I think I lost the tank, so we had to evac. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, I thought I was going to uh, evac Dr. Martin, but good thing he was out of the uh, range. Head, head back to POK. Nope. Uh, looks like the vent's still going. Let me see here. Uh, let me check. We're still in business, guys. Um, go back to POK and then campfire back to, well, we're inside the instance. Okay, heading back to POK. Okay, head back to POK and just campfire back. Oh man, this one is hard. Like I said, this is just freakishly hard. I should have very uh, taunted. That would have kept him off of you. Well, it's okay. I mean, um, I got one of the mess. We just got to, um, the other one, I tried to mess him twice. I don't know what happened. I'll go back and look at the video. It, it, he might have resisted it or something. Okay, we're back here. Um, no time to res or anything, so let's just 
get the buffs going here. I can send Nerdist back to uh, rebuff us. I'm going to send him back to um, to get us clarity and whatnot. Yeah, I got off of Dragorius to try to heal you, and then when I just missed you, I couldn't get back to him in time. Yeah. Yeah, they were... I had two of them beating on me, and as soon as I hit 5%, all three of them were beating on me. Then I went after Wizzy. Dang. Next time, up, I'm going to just try to air effect Mez them. He, I don't know if he might have been out of the Mez range, because my Mez only goes up to 103. They might have been, I don't know, they shouldn't be. Damn it, I should have gone with the air of effect Mez or the AE stun. I just thought I could Mez one and then, you know... Okay, send a Nerdist back. He'll go ahead and buff me. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're Remember, oh, you're kind of back again. Yeah, it's breaking up again. Oh, good try there. But we still are in business. It didn't give us the mission has failed, which is um, good. We have a chance to complete it. So, yeah, we can fight our way down there. As long as Dr. Martin is still feigned death, we're good. Then everybody else can die as many times as they want, and we will be okay. Oh, okay, I need some kind of darn hit point buff. I, I, when I get back there, I'll get Shaner to rebuff me. Let me get the good spell guard on. Okay, you guys went back. Right? I have 116,000 XP. Or uh, HP now, I'm at 100,000. Okay, guys, if we're having a little trouble with Discord out there, uh, audience, sorry about that. And uh, let's see here. Should have spell guard. Let's see here. Yeah, the little power bar on Discord is right on my on the left side, all the way to the left, meaning I. Yeah, I know. Let me check it. Yeah, it's minus two. Mine is all the way red. You're going to reconnect it. There we go. That should be better. Damn Discord. We're going to sound like robots on the stream. Gosh. Beep, bop, boop. Hello, hello. Beep, bop, boop. Beep, bop, boop. You guys might have to switch to your uh, cell phone if you have any issues. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you got a cell phone, it will be better. Yeah, I'm gonna get yeah, our back. Ew. But the channel's push to talk. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, but you can still do push to talk. Yeah, but it's hard to push to talk on a cell phone and push to okay. survive on a keep. We're coming back here. Looks like Discord fixed itself. Yeah, you, who would have thought that Wednesday night would be the big big uh, Discord night? You know, they, they have problems, but what can you say? It's free. Same with Restream. It's free also. Okay, we're back. Oh, is Walker not being with us anymore? He's up old. He's 98. Oh, he's... Walker? No, no. What happens is the people that are uh, ahead of us... What's going on is they can't play every night, so they're just leveling ahead in anticipation. Let me get haste on Dragorius. So what they're doing is you're just going ahead and leveling up. Um, uh, they'll meet us when we get to 98. Why oh, is he like 105 already? Uh, yeah, just a, no, he's 98. But it's kind of funny how he can box four guys and survive. Well, he just picks a, a spot, and then he's got the uh, the software where it can automatically farm it. So he can just put it in a spot, and then they kill off the, the same 10 mobs. If I had something like that or a little script, I could do that in the you know the mayor's office here. Um, you know, you get you you can just if you broke break it up at the right time and just keep going over. As long as you don't get it named, you're okay. So like in the Demiplane of Decay here in the mayor's office, there's a spot where, you know, the spot, my favorite spot, you can just kill the ones where the named won't spawn and you can be there for weeks. 
and you know even at 110 it's still good experience it's um you need about five kills per percent i think and those kills go pretty quick Mr. Kavit said it's uh, because the Discord is overloaded because of the new expansion. I totally agree. Too bad we can't get to it out here. It's not enabled on our server. All right, guys. Um, let's see. Everybody looking good. Let me check. Everybody's got their stuff. We got a haste. Okay. What else did I need? Do you want my rogue or my ranger geared up for the new expansion? Um, it, it's whatever you like. Um, we're going to need a lot of DPS in there. What I think I'm going to focus on with the new X pack is we're going to, the easiest zone by far is going to be, um, crystal caverns and Rygorm. Well, I, I don't relish power leveling this guy up to 110 so I can help. No, as a tank. no, no, you, you don't get it. It's what it is, is we can do it at 110 or as soon as they get the first charm, and that enchanter pet can, um, it's got like 21 million, you know, the trash mobs have 21, 22 million hit points. So they, that can tank it, everything at those levels in beta, which is harder. We had no problem in those two zones. It's when you get to Eastern waste that you get the mobs that are like, uh, you know, 90 million hit points. And I don't know if they've changed that, but if they're, if it's the same thing, then Eastern waste is going to be really hard. But if we get great divide and we get, uh, Crystal Caverns and Rygor Mines, we could get all the way to 115 just in there. But I, I want to get my Pally up and level to see how Slay Undead works there. Yeah, you can try it. You keep in mind that the, the easiest trash mobs have 21 million hit points. So even if you do a million hit, million damage, uh, it's not going to be that much. Uh, you got to do a freakish amount of damage in there. It's just those guys have, you know, a lot. It, you know, the the named in uh, Tower of Frozen Shadow, we need, we had two groups. We still couldn't kill him because he had 130 or 160 million hit points. It's one of the two, but it was that much that even two groups couldn't kill him. So if it's anything like that, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and so Mr. Kavit says they upped the, the stats on drop sets good because... The stats are just only slightly better than no Memorial Mountain stats, as I noticed. And the mobs are way harder than um, TBL mobs. Okay, guys, let's head back down there. Let me get the Invisible Undead back up. I'll wait for Wizaholic and uh, Moshi. There he comes. Let's switch over to Dr. Martin, make sure he's still there. Yep, he's still there. And I'll wait up for you guys too. Okay, let's wait at the bottom of the stairs here. Now, what do we have? The remains. No, oh, good. They can't see us. Can't see through invis. Okay, so this gets a little tricky. Everybody here, we got. Yep. So we can we can even fight it right here. Uh, wait, how many do we kill? So we kill. We kill. I see three. If I see four up. Okay, so that's seven. So after we kill these guys, what happens is Big Boy comes up. But if we get over to Freedom Rock, then even if more guys come up, we'll be okay. So if we wait for them to go in and we just go around the edge like this here, like so. Okay, come on over here. From here, we're going to... Oh, he's up. What the heck? The, that's him, High and Fanatic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at how many there are in there. 
Oh, God. Mommy. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is going to be even hard. And we have a Bakken fanatic. Uh, wow. That's just a whole boatload of them. I uh, wonder if I can pacify them. Um, let me try. Let me try. Get ready for uh, evac. <laughs> Good thing we're going to stay far. Actually, we can pull him over here if we can get these other guys on pacify. Let me try to pacify him. Yep, casting. Landed, pacified one. Uh, going to start pacifying the rest of them. Get ready, guys. He's going to come right over. I get this this is the unload all our best stuff on them, right? Yep. Infuse, yep. infusion when needed. No, no, not infusion. Instead, uh, staunch recovery. I got a. Oh, I'm not sad. Yeah, they're right next, right next to each other. Man, there's so many of them. There's like a whole party in there, and I don't know if I can pacify them all. Come on, it's just gonna re pop like this. This is not. Do you have a pot? A faint dead pot? Nope. We're not gonna do it that way. Let me quickly work it. I think I can get him. If I get an extra, I'll just mez it. Oh gosh, we're gonna try. Here we go. Let's just give it all we got. He's coming. Okay, take him. And I'm gonna mez the other guy. Shoot, where's the fa fanatic remnant He's being mezzed? Okay, let me quickly get him. Get on the big boy. Okay, let me get on Dragorius. Don't die. Oh god, no, don't die. Oh, what happened to the? Oops. Didn't, what maybe he's not passive. Did you have... There's no passive. Did you have uh, defensive up? Defensive up? Even yeah. Even, and other things? Yeah, I had the uh, standard keys up. D defensive and the two others? I hit defensive first, and then I was getting ready to hit the command and the voice. Okay, let me see. Shoot, Shaner used the heels with his... Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Yeah, I, was, I had a group heal in progress when he went down. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Respawning back to PLK. Okay. okay, just, yeah. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure Dragorius stays up, because if Dragorius goes down, we're going, to, we're dead. It's as simple as that. So, um, wow. We didn't even scratch him. Can Doc Martin be, uh, Summoned over COH. Uh, if we do it, you fail. don't. Fail. You don't want oh, to. Oh, I see. I got you. We can't touch him if he moves, or as, as much as farts, um, it's over. Oh. I got three minutes on the campfire. Okay, just wait it out. Can I do a quick bio in the meantime? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, so uh, what happened there, guys? Let's talk about it. Well. I probably shouldn't bother with group heals. I should just concentrate on keeping Dragorius up. Yeah, just go for Dragorius, keep him up. Uh, we're, the reason why we're going one healer is because this is basically a DPS race. I got the other guy mezzed, but I didn't get a chance to slow the big guy. And, um, of course, he does hit really hard. Dragorius needs to go in with defensive and all his defensive stuffs as soon as he can. Because, like I mentioned, even if, if we get past that part, there will be a point where there's going to be no heals for like 10 seconds or more. Probably like 15 seconds because we need a staunch recovery in there. And after the staunch recovery, we're going to need to cast the actual heal. So you're looking at 15, 20 seconds or more. So he's going to have to have all defensives up. I don't know if he's hitting fast or often, but he's only hitting in the teens. What the heck happened? Like 12,000, 17,000, 13,000. Okay, here he is. Um, Le Bonner is hitting him for 48,000, which is good. Okay, so here he has a resist, unresistible spell called Spite. And this is the one that drains all your mana. It drains it by like, I don't know, like 25,000 a tick or something. Okay, let's see. What is he hitting for? Okay, so Oshi and I, we're getting hit for like 17,000 damage. Uh, Spellguard should have uh, intercept, should have absorbed some of that. Gosh, it's just getting so hard. If we can just, maybe we should just make the, the objective kill one of the trash mobs, evac, kill one of the trash mobs, evac. Yeah, okay, Mr. Veed, I'll go for the slow on him next time. We'll just, um, we can try, what we can try to do is off tank one of the other um, 
uh, ads with another pet, or we're we just going to go all in and try to pick off one of the guys and then do it rinse and repeat. I think I can probably do that. If we come down the ramp, I'll come down and uh, we'll do it that way. What happened to our campfire? Is it gone? Oh, I think it is. Okay, come over to here, guys. I think the campfire is in the other place. Let me put a new campfire down here. Okay, campfire down. As soon as your Gregorius is ready, you can let me get him a buff back in POK. Oh, I'm not in POK anymore. Send in Nerdus back to POK. I'm going to haste up Gregorius. About five seconds before it's up. Just wait there. Uh, Nerdus is coming back. He'll put haste on you. I love you, Nerdus. Sheesh, man. This is just... Oh, man. It's definitely crazy. crazy. It's going to be one of those where we do it probably three or four times, and on the last time, we'll get the Mez to go, and I'll stay alive, and the bad guy will drop. Okay, I'm going to change the focus this time. Of Focus is going to be we try to, when we come down the stairs, we're going to try to pull a straggler off because if we have fewer ads, it'll be easier. And if we can slowly get the ads and then take the Bakken High Fanatic, we'll be okay. But the problem is we got one ad, and then the, the deal with that ad is that um, when the ad came in, I had to, I had to mess him. I should have gone and slowed the Bakken High Fanatic first. But I went for the ad, and that killed Gregorius right there. So bad choice on my part. Hey, Warrior was made for dying. Yeah, but... Uh, it's the only way I'll get to Valhalla. Uh, the worry thing about punting the ad, Mr. Ravid, is I don't know how far it's... I guess I should just punt them. You're right. I'll punt the ad, and then, uh, good point. If that's if, if that's I get if I one get. ad. Transfer over now? Yeah, uh, campfire back. Campfire's up. Yep. And if you're already back on station, you could... Probably maze, uh, mage call a hero me, but otherwise... Nope, I'll... you're right here. You're going to land right where we are. Gotcha. Yeah, the, okay, good, Mr. Kavit. Kavit said I have a short punt. That's good. I will um, try that. Okay, so Dragoris needs... Uh, let's see. Let's check your buffs. You look like you have... Good, you have buffs you're all set how your uh disciplines look defense is down let me check how long four minutes three seconds four minutes one second okay so you have that and you have pain doesn't hurt and some other ones we may need them all no, need them. there's no such thing as pain doesn't hurt I that wasn't the actual move that's an sk one i think okay so you only have defensive that's it then right well, I have uh, a couple others. I run voice, and then there's a. Uh, they're all keyed into. Okay, great. Uh, Wizaholic, how long before Exodus is ready? Ready. Okay, it's good. Okay, great. Let me put Inviso Undead. Let's head back down there. How's Gregorius' endurance? Oh, yeah. He, he looks pretty good. By the time yeah. he gets down there, he'll be okay. 65%, so I got most of it back. Can't wait for you guys here. And Dr. Martin's taking his nice nap. Okay, there Shaner's arrived. Oh, she... I'll wait for you guys. He actually got a pretty ja pretty easy job this time once he lived he through this. You, you need somebody like that. You like if you have a monk, you don't want your real monk to do it because you need the DPS. So it's like you always want to bring around a, like a whatever character that isn't going to do a lot of damage and and is just going to sit there. So he, I picked the right one.
Holy smoke, look at how many of these guys are up there. It's like a whole train is going to come if I pull that. Oh, man. I think they're all social with each other, too. Yeah, but if I pacify, you saw how I got two. I think I can pacify and pull one. You got to be real patient here. I want to get one by itself. Okay, so the way it goes, Dragoris, is we'll wait for your defensive to come back. When you see the high, Bakken High Fanatic come, no matter what it is, pop defensive. If there's more than one ad with him, we're going to evac. Um, I hope we don't evac Dr. Martin because he's kind of close. Let me go over here. Let's see if we can pull from over here better. Let's see what's the back look like. Because if we're too close to Dr. Martin, he gets picked up in the evac. And that's no bueno. Yeah, that would be really bad. Gosh, the problem with up here is you can't see a darn thing. You want me to take my uh, eye and target each one? You can pacify them all. Uh, I won't have enough time to hit them with pacify that fast. I need to selectively pacify a few and then pull the others. Uh, let me see what do I got here. Okay, I'm right by this rock here. I'm just up on the rock so I can see up here. Seven seconds on defense. Okay, we're going to wait. Okay, let me pacify this fanatic here. One pacified. And high Bakken fanatic pacifying Bakken fanatic. Got him. Got that guy. Sheesh. That guy. Sheesh. High Bakken fanatic looked like he fainted. Fanatic revenant. Pacifying. I'm just going to keep doing it. This is, shoot, this is going to be crazy. And this guy here, just get, when I see one pop up, I'll pacify. And pacifying this one. I want to get one of these little guys here. Oh, man. This game is called Pacify, everybody. Okay, Fanatic Revenant. Come on. to get that one over there nope he went down there shoot let me get her over here one got it okay up here Gregorius this is help can you target her she's right under Shaner oh, I didn't get a pet up okay Gregorius yeah, I was trying uh, to jump up the rock. You're hunching down. Can you move away from the rocks? Move away from the rocks. Stand up straight. Hit X. Back away from the rocks. There you go. Can you target the thing? That's it. There you go. It's like everything I did would put me back down to hunch, and I turned out a hunch off. Well, stay back away from the rocks a little bit. I'm only up here oh, yeah. because I can see better. Okay, good. We got this one. Okay, after this, just wait up. We're going to be patient here. Very, very patient. We have whittled the numbers down just enough. Oh, man, there are so many up there. I can get Dr. Martin to target them actually, but high block. Wow, there's two, four, five. I don't know how we got that single. That was just insane. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go back and do the same routine again. Uh, just gonna pacify what I see. 
and pacifying this guy. I'll, j I'll jump down and fight them when, when exactly. thumb's running. The other run ran by so fast I couldn't do anything. It's a coordinated effort to turn and target something and capture it before it hits. Okay, let me try to get big boy. Here it comes. Shit. Oh god. Oh god. He and jumped down a whole one. Okay, Miz, an ad. Okay, I'm gonna get on the fanatic. Dang it. Okay, gonna slow him. Slowing him. Oh, I'm getting nailed. Hang on. Elder Shrewd. Who do I got a mess? Gonna mess the next one. Messing him. Whoa! Mess the final one. Dead. Alright, guys. DPS him. <laughs> one of them's mess. Okay, if you can't do it or it's not working, then just evac it. Evac it. Oh, uh, I'm on the high bulk and finale. Yep, get on the high bulk and the other guy should be missed. Uh, Shaner's going down. Evac it. Exodus. Good job. Dang, too many ads. Like I said, it's going to be tricky. Okay, well, we killed one. This is not going to yeah, be easy. Yeah, I did too many group heals. <clears throat> I drew too much aggro. Yeah. And I must have had Shaner, something Shaner on Shaner died. Oh, God. I must have had something on me. Oh, man. I think I can res you with a res token. N just get him back. Come back to POK. Don't go for the res. Uh, Nervous will rebuff you in POK at the buff spot. We're going to all have about 10 corpses to res when this is We're done. just going to res it later. We got it. We're still in, in play here. So we did take one of them, right? Yes. Or two total, right? I don't know. Well, we got one singly first, and then when you had the high boken, I thought he had two ads, and I only saw one when we evac'd. Mm, he could have got memory blurred. Mr. Beat says... Um, says um, yeah, I ads. think he was Mez, too. Yeah, I Mez one of them. The Mez has a, a blur on it. So it, what it'll do is it'll um, memory blur him. Okay, we're going to have to do it the hard way. When you're raid geared, you can just plow right through it. We did this with Sandormo before, and he just, you know, one-shotted everything. He just uh, pulled them all at once and killed them all, but he's he was raid geared, and uh, that was a difference. So we're going to have to do it this way. And GamerBud1, welcome board out on YouTube. It is very active still. And you can see challenging as ever. Okay, we're back in POK. I'm going to get uh, Shaner rebuffed. Oh, I, well, I thought we just all came back to here. Oh, okay, you Oops. Have to, okay, it's okay. all right. Okay. You need, you need some, well, I was going to ask if you need potions, but you got syrup here to give you a clarity. Or yeah. Okay. That's okay. I can just I can just gate back. Of course, I'll be fifteen minutes no, before just, I can camp. Just wait there. I'll get you set. Just wait there. Um, what we got to figure out is if we can even. It looks like with the DPS there, we only took them down five percent. It could be what they've done with these mobs is they've really ramped up some of them, and it could be that he's just that freakishly hard, and that um, you know, like even though what is he like one hundred one or whatever. He could actually have more uh, abilities because some of these mobs, like you saw the terrible monster, he, you know, they don't even list the, the AE he casts, but he does cast something. And thanks, Gamer Bud One out on YouTube. Okay, so. so yeah, if the two nasty ones hadn't spawned, we could have cleared out the trash. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I know it's the, the the first mess up. Yeah, I'm reading something here about they've taken seventeen thousand damage from spite by a high boat boken fanatic. Yeah, we're gonna take that every time he casts that. So in a minute, that's probably we're gonna take about four of those, I guess. But um, yeah, that's the hard part. I I mean, uh, 
Uh, it looks like the spell guard is uh, meant to absorb some of that, which is 20% of it. So, okay, let's see what do we have here. Let's get some other stuff up. Okay, let me get a pet. Uh, not that this is going to help. Yeah, the thing is, I got too many darn ads here. There's two ads, and that'll kill us right there. I don't even know if the high Bakken fanatic, I, I don't even know if I got the slow off on him. So that could have been a problem too. Okay, Syrup is going to be camp firing back and just right now. the heck what my campfire failed oops it just came oh, no, there went. oh my gosh, gosh. i didn't Lag. tinkle on it i swear i didn't tinkle on it okay so mr kavit says he was slowed but the other one came out of mez for some reason yeah mr kavit we had two ads one of them was mez and he got a memory blur and then the other guy um the other guy i couldn't get him missed i think i think that's what it was and, uh, or the red one actually cast an ae that blew him out of mess that's possible that would be bad don't yeah that would be really bad let's check dragorius he's got haste on him let me get the group rune up Yeah, it's very tricky. We got to somehow get lucky and get a single ad and totally whittle the numbers down. Sorry it's taken so long, but guys, this is, an ex like I mentioned, this is an extremely difficult mission. It's, uh, it's so hard. Uh, Mr. Kavit, yeah, the thing is, is they, they get, there's so many levels higher that I got to tosh them first, and then I got to go ahead and try to, Mez him. I could use a flash mez. This lands all the time, confounding flash. So I mez that guy, no problem. But if we got two guys, it's really hard. Okay, let me load up another aura. Hmm, I should load a rune aura or something. All right, guys, take five. <laughs> uh, we're going to try it again until we win. Dr. Martin can see down there. Putting my determined ability up, whatever that is. I'm determined to kill this guy. Okay, let's uh, head down there, guys. Let me see how many there are. I'm looking through Dr. Martin. I see one, two, three. There's like five plus the guy. Okay, well, we're going to probably try this time. Let's just focus on, on um, killing one of the ads. And then evacuating if we get more, we'll, you know, hopefully we don't get the Bakken High Fanatic this time. Okay, when you guys come over, I'll hit Invisible and Dead. Okay, good. God, the whole family's over there. I almost think that no matter what we do, we're never going to get the Bakken High Fanatic by himself, but we're going to keep trying. There's my second corpse. Okay, I'm going to stay down here this time. Um, I'm going to try to do that. And maybe I can get Dr. Martin to target them. Gosh, what do we have? There's so more. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've killed five. So, yeah, there is four plus him. So, let me get this. Is everybody. And wait till everybody's here. 
Dragoris, come on over by me. We're going to stay together. And Acastos, you can be up there. We're gonna, I'm going to stay right down here. I'm going to try to start pacifying. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got one fanatic targeted. So hard to see who's who. Pacify one. Oh, wait, and is Exodus ready? Exodus is not up. Okay, how much time do we have for Exodus? Five minutes. Okay, we're going to try to just work around that. We'll use a regular succor if necessary. I cannot pacify the Bakken High fanatic. He's too high. So the objective is going to be to try to get one of the stragglers. I hope he goes downstairs to, like, get a coffee or something. So that we can get the rest of his buddies there. Come on. Too far away. Pacify. Dang. We gotta get the whole family up there. Sheesh. Come on, guys. Can barely see a thing. It's like driving in the dark. Oh. This is where you need a monk or something to just feign death these guys. <laughs> There's a guy down there. One below. Can't target him. I'm too low on the ground. Okay, guys, you stay here. I got to get up on the rock. I can't see. Okay, this is a little better. And he is 101, yep. Pass by another guy. Come on, somebody, stick your head up. And pass by a guy on the other side. Let me try to pull this single guy. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> this is like a funny platform game. Yeah, that stupid uh, skelly yeah, slidey thingy. Yeah. Shoot, look at this here. It keeps sliding and it's just like screwing me up. Okay, I'm going to try to pull him. Let's just try. Single. He's coming. Here he is. He's on me, guys. Oh. Oh. Help, get him. Let me slow him. Heal me, please. Okay, got him. We got him single. Go, everybody all in on him. Dropping the dot on him. Get ready for that staunch recovery when you need it. Good. Keep the tank up. Good job, guys. Go, 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 go. Man, it's still looking good. Quite good. He put this on me. Spite, yep, that's a spite. Yeah, this spite is nasty. Come on, guys. I'm going to go get ready to hit staunch recovery when you start losing too much mana. 50% mana. Okay, pop a group heal. Almost got him, guys. Go, go, go. All Everything you got. Dragorius, don't die. Shoot, we lost Dragorius. <laughs> got him. Yeah, but he's... he's... Good work, everybody. Buddy. Where's me? Need to heal. Need to heal. heal. Okay. Whoa, close call there. Woof. Woof. Well, I did. my defensive disc dropped. As, uh, he dropped me. Good work. Wow, Shaner, look at that. Look at how close that was. Now we got to heal up. We still got to kill the rest of the guys. Which is now a cakewalk. Good job, Shaner. We'll just get our yeah, mana back. That, that uh, harvest is really slow. Yeah, yeah. That staunch recovery. But we did it, guys. Wow. Wow. You're going to res me up? I, I can get ready to fight within three minutes. He's going to get you res. Let me get buffs ready. That was just crazy. Oh my.
Um, I, I can use staunch recovery now to recover my stuff. Okay. You're getting a res soon. Yep, it's counting down. Oh, man, that was just completely bonkers. Well, at least I got a ma for you. That was hard, like three tons. Yeah, I, I, he warped onto me as soon as I pulled him. He didn't run over here. He just teleported right on top of me, which is actually kind of good, I think. I don't know how he did that because the other time he ran over to me. Okay, he, uh, hasting Dragoris. Want me to hit staunch recovery? Um, if you're okay, we can wait because I lost all my mana. I got a mana up. Let me uh, go ahead and put a mana rune uh, R up. Okay, wonderful, guys. Wonderful. Wow. This has got to be the most exciting one I've done. I did another one where I was able to pull him, and that was at 105, and I got him single. I was playing the other side, but this time... I mean, uh, wow, <laughs> that was really a crazy pull. But the good thing is I can see through Dr. Martin's side, so I can look through both screens, like the screen here, and I can look at Dr. Martin's side, so you can see what's going on behind the smoke or who's going down. And it looked like just the right moment. You have like a two-second, two or three-second opportunity to, to go ahead and get him. And whoever put the big boom-boom on him at the end, that was incredible. He was at 50% and he started going down. You guys are awesome, I'll say. Really good. Yeah, I got a group peel out of there that literally, with the mana going down, used every last piece of mana I had. Wasn't that scary? <laughs> yeah, then I had to wait for that other thing to give me my mana back. Yeah, and the thing that's weird about that is if he, he can interrupt the staunch recovery, which is really bad. But Dragoris hung in there really good. Yeah, I have a lot of corpses. I'm just going to pick them back up and be okay. I can do that expedient recovery and uh, get them all at once. Yeah, that's probably the best way. Plus, I don't have to buy a summoning stone. I'm turning cheap like you. Yeah. As soon as I start eating summoned food, you'll know. Yep. I eat summoned food. Yeah, I know. I sat there in POK listening to you summon a <laughs> I, You know, I I don't know what it is. I think it's because on the TLP servers, money is really tight, you know. But out here, it's like, yeah, you know. Let me get a uh, group rune up. As soon as I figure out where it is, I have to forage the... the parts to make the primordial stuff I'll be making that that'd be nice yeah let me know if it's something I can help with or I, I mean I've collected every trade skill item I've run across that I could I think it's like all in 105 zones never mind yay 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 well I was in the over there for a bit the worst part is it's all foraged stuff. Never mind. I'm going to start pacifying, guys. Let me see if I can... Yeah, who can I can get here? Let's get this guy here. Uh, he's going to run that way. I need a guy on the right. Dang smoke air. Defensive is back up in case I have to eat on. Okay. Target this guy here. Dang it. Okay, pacifying him. Pacifying the other guy. Just need to get one of these guys to whittle them down. Okay, uh, he's too close to the other guy. Pacifying. Should get slightly easier each time. This guy, gonna get a pacifying. 
Come on, guys. Dang, they all keep going downstairs. Look at how many there are here. Dang, two of them two to stand right next to each other. Yeah, this is kind of ridiculous here, the way they... Come on. Let me try to just pull this guy. Let's try. Nope, he went downstairs. Repass fine. <laughs> you got about two seconds. <laughs> you got about two This is a bit like Frogger. It is. It's a platformer version of EQ. Can't see a darn thing. Okay, big Bakken. I'm going to pacify him. Got him. They all stand together, which is really bad. And this is part of the problem. Uh, get this. See, look at how close they are. How, how did I ever get the high fanatic out of there? Isn't it amazing? Okay, this guy, I'm going to bring him. What? Where do you think you're going? Okay. Uh, the Revenant, he's going on Mez. Got him Mez, go for the Bakken Fanatic. Slowing him. Oh, he's up on the rocks. Okay. Let me get him. He's upstairs on the rocks. Where did the other guy go? Oh, the he's, oh, he's in the water. Check that out. I got a perma res and Mez him. I finally got him. Okay, this guy here, come on. He's in the water. I can't do anything to him. Okay, there we go. Let me just slow this guy here. Well, he's going to be the next victim. I'll keep him out here. Okay, this guy's here. You guys take down the fanatic. Okay, back on him. Good work. Wish I got a screenshot of that guy. Okay, good work. Really, really good. Uh, if you spin around, there's a guy in the water here. I gotta go in the water to get him. No, just wait here. Um, you could, yeah, you go ahead and hit him and then bring him out of the water here. Bring him out up here. Yeah, the pathing's really weird. It's weird. I have to hit him in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, break him out of Miz. Okay, come out of the water. Keep trying. There you go. Good. Okay, Dragoris, you got the rune coming for you. We only have two more there, which is good. You guys are never going to want to do this mission again, I guarantee you that. This is not a mission where you're like, yeah, I want to go do it again. How's everybody? Okay, let me start pacifying. Should be good. Two more left. Okay, great. Got one guy. One guy. Once we kill them all, then you do something to the statue and we win? No, you kill them and then that's it. Then we get the chest, I think. And let me check here what the thing is. Uh, as long as a sleeper doesn't spawn on our heads. The uh, enraged version. You, you have to hail some guy here at the end. Um, and then that's it, really. Okay, let me get back to pacifying this guy here. We just need to get a single. Look at that, they're just still glued together. Okay. Maybe there are a couple. Yeah, they probably are. Can't target him. He's Okay, we're gonna wait till one of them pops up. Other guy should be pullable. I'm gonna try to pull other guy. Can't can't target him. 
There we go, try now. Got him. Here he comes. Oh, the other guy's coming. Mezzing this guy first. Okay. Mezzing the guy near me. Need a heal. One mez. Oh, shoot. Dead again. Oh, great. great. Dang, ouch. Get, get me rezzed or something. Or, or keep him alive, kill these guys. Kill one of them at least. Keep Dragorius, what? Is Shaner there? Is Shaner? No, evac, evac. Wait, Shaner's not there. Evac it. His mana bar didn't go down. And I've been casting, so I don't know if I'm going LD or what. Oh, God. Oh, no I stayed to kill one. one. Okay, good, but you evac, thank goodness. Okay, let's uh, redo it. Uh, I'm going to go back and rebuff and POK, and I'm just going to come out here. I came through the evac. <laughs> I don't know how they did this, how they would do a mission like this. In old days, when people were on dial-up modems, it's just like, oh my gosh, it was just, it's just impossible. It, don't remind me, I used to have to turn my phone to such a way that call waiting didn't work. Oh my gosh, it's like, wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we got one more to kill. I think we can handle that. That is just crazy. Yeah, the healing was going great until you needed a heal there at the end before you died, and I, I cast it. It just didn't land. And then the next one I cast under Gorius didn't land either. Uh, uh, Shaner, do you have the 14th, whatever that thing is called? Yeah. You cast that if I get below like 30%, just hit that real fast. Yeah, that's what I hit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me just quickly get regen. We only have to kill one more mob. So uh, we'll finish off the last guy. All right. Uh... Wow. I knew this was going to be this hard. This is going to be hard. The insignia is up so I can go to the campfire when yep. once you're done with Nerdist. Yep, you sure can. Say when. Uh, you, you, I'm buffing in POK. I'm going to get you buffed real quick. Again. Real quick. Yeah, I know. I'm right here with Syrup. There you go. Let me get the rune up for you. I mean, I may have cast a 14th on you before you were low enough for it to be acceptable. Ah, uh, that's okay. Hey, we only got one more to kill. We'll get there. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing a message. I scrolled back. Your target does not meet the spell requirements. Mm. That's all right. So you were rejected by EQ. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and use the fellowship thingy. Yep, if you're buffed, yeah, go for it. We just got to kill one lousy mob and we'll be good. I should be getting my... I'm in, doing res effects, so... Okay, I'm just going to go back. Using campfire. And Dr. Martin still cannot get up. He has to stay down here, which is funny. He can still fail it at this point. I got three seconds left in res effects. Yeah, I got some time. My res effects just went off waiting for mana. Okay, let's see here. You should have haste. Let me get the aura up. Maybe I stepped back or something on that rock and got to a point where I couldn't cast. Yeah, you might. That's a bad thing about the rock. If you get knocked back or something, uh, you won't cast. Okay, twin cast. Um, let me put up another aura. I'm going to put a mana aura up so I get my mana back. I'm going to bring my pet and everything. But hey, we killed one. Take 27. Yeah, that's right. Take 27. I forgot how many times I died, but let's see. I'm still in, in my level, which is a good news. You're going to see, oh, wow. I think I was like 70-something percent. I lost 40%, but that's okay. Good thing we have lobby 
corpse recovery. Good thing. Is your expedient recovery live? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. That. yeah, I'll do that too because it's right much there. faster. Yeah, I'm going to hit that right at the end. Well, I'm at 100,000, so I'm doing good. Yeah, we just got to kill one, one mob. We can do we it. We can do it. I wonder what it'll be like at 100 where I switch over to the uh, HP ones. Yeah, try the one, the Valiant one. That's the uh, one the Cleric uses. You have a lot more hit points. It'll be easier to heal you, uh, in my opinion. Especially when Especially you're when AE. If heals do percentile heals, like complete, you know, like uh, full heal used to do, then uh, yeah, definitely worth it. Well, it, it's also good because if you have more hit points, your health bar goes down a little bit slower. It gives us time to pop a heal. I always like that when the tank has more hit points. Of course, they get hit more, but uh, if they have a little bit of hit points, like, okay, like casters, when I play the cleric, I can never use a, uh, I got to use really quick little heals because they don't have that many hit points anyway because they die so fast because they have so much few hit points. What kind of pet do you have, Chanter? <laughs> this... I'm casting the heals on it, that, and it's moving the pet's health about one-third as much as it moves uh, Dragorius's health. Yeah, um, it's only a ninety level ninety three pet, so that means that it, the Chanter pet must have a lot of hit points on it. Now you know why nobody will accept me as their pet. Yeah. Their the real pet has a lot more stats than I do. Well, the mage pet has it way more. Okay, so we shouldn't have to use pacify, and I'm gonna pop group perfect and Vizzo. And let me, oh, I gotta pop this. Here. I'm full mana. Hey. Okay, getting ready to head down there in uh, three seconds. Okay, guys, let's head back down. Getting used to this run here. <laughs> I don't even see the last mob. Where is he? Well, I'm going to tell you guys something. You're going to be real happy when you complete this because you're never going to have to do it again. And it's kind of like when you're really young and they say, oh, you got to go in and take a tetanus shot. And, uh, you know. Oh, there's a mob. Oh, and he went back inside. Okay, I think it's only going to be him. Um, it better be. Yeah, well, I'm following your lead. I'm staying off that rock this time. Yeah, we'll stay here. Won't get close to any rocks. Come on to me. Dr. Martin's going to... He's just sleeping. Come on, Lone Scout. Now he, he doesn't come up when you want him to come up. I'm almost going to have to run over there and whack him on the head. Don't don't bump into poor Doctor Martin. It'll, yeah. No, I, okay. I I won't uh, be that silly. Uh, where is he? Where are you? I can cast pacify on him. Well, he'll come back up sooner or later, one of these days. Come on over here, Dragorius. He'll stick his uh, ugly head up. And we'll play whack-a-mole. Here he comes. There oh, he is. <laughs> there he goes. Come on. Finally, get over get here. Over there you are. Yeah, you are. Get over here. Causing us so much trouble, you crazy skeleton. Bad skeleton. Just such a bad skeleton. Bad skeleton, no donuts. Yeah. You're uh, casting too much syrup. Oh, it's okay. I'm just 
I'm just, I want to kill this guy. <laughs> He's caused us so much trouble. I'm like, goodbye. I want to finish this mission. Okay, good. <laughs> now we're supposed to speak with Handmaiden Yisha. Let's see. Oh, where is he? I think he's right in the middle. Um, Handmaiden on, let's see. Where is this? I think it's straight in the middle. Let's see. Uh, hail the Handmaiden at the statue. Where is it? Huh? Uh, you think it's underneath? Uh, what's that? You think it's underneath the statue? Let me check here. Oh my gosh. Would that be sucky if it got bugged? Let me try to um target it. Oh gosh, it doesn't say that there's anybody here. Like I said, this is really buggy. Oh my gosh, I gotta watch my old video to see where this guy's on. Oh my gosh, where is this? Let me look down here. Oh. I could check underwater. No, let me see. Oh gosh. He's at, supposed to be at the statue. That's just crazy. Or maybe Dr. Martin can get up. I don't know. Uh, if you guys don't see him, what I'll do, or look down there, I'll make Dr. Martin stand up. I think Wizzy got his eye down in the hole. There's just a lot of Bokens down here. No hand Yikes. Down. Um, darn it. I got to go look at my old video and see how does he spawn. Hold on, guys. Let me load it up. Um, you have to use the baton in your hand to allow you to see the handmaiden's body. It, it is in my hand, so let's see. So you, it, yeah, but it's in the, the guy that's laying down on the job. So he's got to stand up? I would assume that's the only way, because you use the hat, that, and you gather her skull that you might speak with her. Okay, so let me just check real quick. Um, let me look under my videos, uh, I'm, I, just so I don't screw it up, because I'm just worried that if I do anything different with Dr. Martin, and it fails, I'm just going to pull my hair out. Because I'm like, what? You know, let me see here. Let's look at playlists. Oh, boy. Let's go back. This thing is such a nightmare to do. And guess what? If we try to do it at a higher level, it'll probably be even harder. Uh, okay, go broken mirror. Yeah, maybe I just have to stand up. Well, if you look at the bottom of our task, it says he gave you, or told you to discover what secret is lurking in his town, blah, 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 blah. The mayor gave you his baton of office and told you that it would allow you to see the handmaiden's body and carefully gather her skull so that you might speak with her. And we are on the speak with handmaiden Yisha. Yeah. Okay, just give me one second here. It'll be three, two, one. Let me go through this. Uh, let me check this here. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Let's go forward a little bit. The rest of that text in the quest box says you have completed the ritual now it's your chance to speak with the handmaid okay, okay. Wait a second, yes. wait a second. yeah since the ritual's over dr martin oh, can stand something's missing guys something's missing wait wait there's supposed to be something uh like a flaming head right in the middle if you watch a video supposed to be a flaming, flaming correct but you have to use the baton to see it no the baton doesn't have anything any clickable um i could see it from my other character um yeah okay so let me try to stand him up um but the thing is is that uh it is not um showing uh anything because what if you watch a video what happens is the belmo was feigned death 
And before he even got up, after we killed all of them, then the uh, skull was there. See, there's nothing. See that? Nothing. It's supposed to be there already. Like I said, this is... Oh, there it is. It's, it's is. down oh, there. Oh, there it is. It's down there. Told you. Oh, gosh, it's, it's not there. It's down below. Gosh, that's so crazy. They put it underneath there. It was actually already there, guys. The Handmaiden, it's called. Now, return the skull to its coffin. So where do we do that? Let's see here. Let me check the video. Oh, gosh. You got to be kidding me. We got to return all the way back to that crazy crypt. Yeah, but if you sucker us there, then there's no walking. Not as much walking. All right, everybody. Gather around. Okay, uh, Wizaholic, you got it. Hug your local Wizzy. Yeah, that's right. Saving us hours and hours. So, yeah. So, you know what? It was already up. It was just way down below. It, it's on when I had it on the video, it actually spawns in front. So this was they they made it spawn down there, which is bad. So that's why it was already up. Okay, let me get uh, ready. We're gonna run over there. We got my little horse. I mean, yeah, my and reptile. Okay, popping a bizzo. Got to return it to its coffin. Oh boy. Okay, that's off we go. See, I should have Invisible and dead. Wouldn't want to get killed doing this part. But at least Dr. Martin can get out of his nap mode. Let me check, make sure that nothing else jumps us. <laughs> Watch us say like the terrible monster comes up again and rips your face off. I think this is it, so, uh... Yep. Okay, so we got the update, so we can just run back, I guess, unless Sukor is ready. Ready. Okay, come on over, everybody. Sukor, we're going to take the easy way back. Jumping on the carpet. Yes. Okay, now we're supposed to go into the mayor's room and hit, hand him the button. Oh, okay, we're gonna end it. Go into the mayor's room. Okay, let's go, everybody. Hey, we, we get it done one way or another, guys. One way or another, we get it done. Okay, Dr. Martin, you get to hand in the baton. The mayor looks different. Yeah, this is a, the live version. The, this, the, the, the other hamster's a dead one. Okay, there we go, guys. Yes. Okay, guys, let's check your experience. You're only going to get like 2% from this, but... Uh, who wants the honors and opening the chest? It's like Christmas chest. Maybe it has some legs for me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'll open it. Oh, there we go. And how much experience do we get? I don't know. Probably 2%. Oh, there we go. Dr. Martin has... Dr. Martin has... Oh, a wire usable. Cudgel of the Stranger. Yeah, and this is uh, Cudgel of the Stranger. It is a one-handed blunt. Hmm, I don't know. Warrior Ranger, it looks like you're the only one who can use it. Only one of us can use it. Wow, you're even you don't have to roll and you still win Dragorius. Dragorius. Oops. There you go, help yourself. And um let's see, yeah, go ahead and knead on these spell thingies. Also, um what you can do is put your augs in. I don't know if it's better than your other one handed uh weapon. Uh, weapon. I'll pull the ogs out and take a look, and if I don't like it, then I'll shove them back in. Yeah, good idea. Let's 
Dr. Martin is going to go ahead and take his uh, 2%. Oh, he got about 5% experience for Dr. Martin on that. And here we'll I'm going to do my res now. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do that too. That's a good idea. Let me do it real quick. Yeah, expedient recovery. There it is. Go, go, nerd it. Uh, go, go, syrup. Mm -hmm. And Stephen Laszlo, thanks. Steve Laszlo, thanks for joining us. Let's see how much experience I get. Uh, I, I ended up even at 88 where I was before. <laughs> I'm at 66.89, so I guess that's. I forgot where I started. I'll have to refer to the video to check it out to see. Check it out. Well, after four deaths, I'm sure we're both right about the same. <laughs> right about the same place we entered. But, guys, we got the big bad monkey off our back. Let's check it out. Let me go and show you before we take off. Here, let's look at um, the missions. So, uh, yeah, I did the handmaiden. Under the robe wasn't bad. Now, Lady of Life, I'm going to tell you guys, it's supposed to be a harder one. But the funny thing is, it's probably going to be easier than this one we, we've done. The only thing you got to do is you got to run into these things. But the next time we do it, we can do Lady of Life when we have fewer people. And that's a, a good one, but um, it won't be nearly as big a nightmare. Like I said, this one is one of the hardest here. It's probably even harder than Damsel of Decay. Um, and let's see. Yeah, let's see what I thought we did Under the Robe the other night. Yeah, uh, you guys probably did. If anybody didn't do Under the Robe, uh, I can bring uh, your highlights. I did not. You did not? Maybe because, yeah, what, because you had your uh, musical Miss Singers did it. The other character. Could be. Characters. Yeah. So, okay, guys, let's wind it up and I'll see what everybody needs and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. This was, uh, what a crazy, crazy adventure. But, you know, those make the best ones, I got to say. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.